Welcome to a walkthrough of the external anatomy of Balanoglossus, which is an acorn worm, phylum hemichordata, class Enteronusta. And if you take a look at the specimens in this jar, actually look at the fluid. The fluid is discolored yellow, and that discoloration comes from brominated compounds produced by these worms. Um, the bromine in these compounds gives the water the yellow color, and if you could smell this, you'd be able to smell the bromine um, that's, that's in solution. These brominated compounds are probably one of the more effective uh, defense mechanisms that these worms have. So if we take a look at the external anatomy of one of these worms, we'll start up here at the anterior end. This is the proboscis. The proboscis is covered by cilia and is used by these animals for deposit feeding. They pick up organic and inorganic particles. They move across the surface of the proboscis where they're sorted. Inorganic particles are moved over the top to the uh, to collar and the organic material is swallowed. This next section is the collar. Oh, before we leave the proboscis, remember, in these animals, they produce five psilomic pouches during development and the fluid-filled space inside of the proboscis is a single um, salomic space. The, the collar has two salomic spaces inside, and then posterior to the collar is the trunk. The trunk is divided into three regions. The most anterior of these regions is the branchiogenital region of the trunk. And the pin, I have pins holding open these flaps. These flaps are normally mostly enclosing the, uh, the structures inside. These flaps are called the genital wings. And inside we have the central axis of the body. And on the central axis in this enlarged portion are um, gill slits or gill pores. They're very small. You can't see them without a, either a magnifying glass or a microscope. The next region of the body is the hepatic region. The hepatic region of the body is characterized by these outpocketings. These are outpocketings of the gut. And if you recall, the hepatic region and these outpocketings have a dual function, actually a, a triple function, but a dual function of liver and pancreas. So uh, the, um, the digestion, intracellular digestion takes place in these and they also store nutrients. Posterior to the hepatic region is the intestinal region of the body which starts about here and runs the entire length of the rest of the body to a terminal anus. You can see this pin is actually holding the worm the posterior end in place but this opening this is the anus. And so when we take a look at the entire worm, again, we can see proboscis, collar, and trunk that's divided up into or designated into three different regions. And that is the walkthrough of Balanoglossus, the, uh, a representative of the acorn worms. This specimen is 15.5 centimeters long, and there's a photograph provided for you to use during your drawings. Of course, you can refer to, uh, to this video as well. There you have it, acorn worms.